Here again with another Loose for Season 3 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you are caught up to the point where I am and you're watching or watching Loose for, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you find that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And for those of you that are wondering, surprisingly, this is my first time watching Lucifer. So join me as well as Crazy Coffee Man in the comment section to discuss this mostly amazing show. With that in mind, this will be Lucifer Season 3, Episode 12. The title of this episode is called All About Her. And this will be my review, reaction, recap. After just finishing watching the episode, Lucifer tells Kane... Slash Pierce, we have so much to catch up on. He just wants to stick with Pierce, though, instead of Kane. The Sinner Man was his partner, but the Sinner Man went rogue and didn't really know why he did the things that he did. Pierce is still human, as he still feels all the pain that comes with death. He just heals. Pierce says he isn't working with Lucifer's father, despite what Lucifer thinks, and Pierce walks out, as he's had a long day and Lucifer says he'll tell everyone who he is. And Pierce says, no one even believes that you're the devil. Well, except for Dr. Linda Martin. I don't know if Pierce knew that or not. Maze is testing out a new knife. Maze is hanging up all of Trixie's artwork on the wall. Maze tells Chloe that she's never going to change Lucifer. I believe the artwork is covering knife holes in the wall. Uh, dead body on the beach time. Dan and Ella Lopez are already on the scene. Chloe arrives. Manny the Moondog Taylor, the pro surfer, is dead. Ella says that Moondog died from choking. And Ella's very short and like kind of annoyed and agitated. Uh, Lucifer has also arrived and Chloe chose not to call him. You came here for my help? My help? Are we having a senior moment? Chloe is accepting uh, Lucifer what he is. She's accepting the fact that he's an eagle, maniacal narcissist. Go home and work with who you like to work with most. Yourself. Detective! Lucifer meets with Dr. Linda Martin. You did break her trust. Technically, we kidnapped each other. Lucifer needs to make it all about her for change. Uh, then Lucifer wants to make it about himself and leaves. Linda says she should have seen that one coming. Chloe is watching footage of Dangerous Dog. Charlotte gives her opinion on it. Ella is just not being herself today. She tells Charlotte that Pierce yelled at her yesterday, saying that she talks too much. So she's trying to talk less. Charlotte tells Ella to get thicker skin. Pierce is packing up his things. It's done. He put in for a transfer. Amenadil, we find out, has chlamydia. Focus on next steps. Call all your recent partners, the doctor says. They all need to be tested. Hello, detective. Lovely, lovely day for sunshine, Lucifer says. Today is detective day. For the rest of the day, everything that I do will be for you. Lucifer got Chloe signed up for the competition, getting her an access pass to get close to Dangerous Doug. But wait, there's more. Chloe says hi to Doug. Uh, Chloe checks out his board. Doug finds out Chloe is a cop. Doug tries to run, but Lucifer grabs his board and then... Uh, let's go have it, and then he says, let's go, and then Lucifer, Lucifer lets go, and it hits him in the head. Chloe says Lucifer's only helping her, so she'll help her, uh, so he'll help her back. Dan and Chloe talk to Doug. He talks about killing a seal, and that's why he ran, and he was surprised to find out that Manny, uh, the Moondog Taylor, uh, or Manny Moondog Taylor, uh, is dead as well. Charlotte tells Pierce that she'll crush him like a cockroach. She says, Ella looks up to him and you need to be nicer to Ella. Detective Douche, uh, Daniel, sorry, sorry, old habits. Love it. I love the douche stuff. It makes me laugh. He wonders how Dan always bounces back as he's upset Chloe the most, uh, more than anybody. As Dan tells Lucifer a story about something about breakfast and Lucifer already has taken off. Maze wants Linda to get what she deserves. She gives Linda Martin a knife. Amenadil calls Maze and tells her that he has chlamydia. Uh, she kind of quickly hangs up for him and then he, she tells this to Linda. 
and it makes Linda spit out her wine. Dodge that bullet. Bullet dodged a lot. The blood on Doug's board was definitely from a seal, a seal blood. And Chloe has Dan go undercover as a surfer. Pierce thinks this is a bad idea. He looks like he's going to get his ass kicked by a girl. Uh, Lucifer asks Ella, does she have anything in mind that she could do, uh, that he could do to help the detective as he's tried everything? And Ella actually yells at Lucifer and says uh, he needs to scrub these tubes. Uh, would help her. Like, scrub these tools and that would help me. This isn't me, is it? No, it's not. Ella tells Lucifer that Pierce is leaving soon and he's about to transfer out of the department. Lucifer didn't know this, of course. Uh, Pierce says Dan's finally found a calling, pissing people off. And uh, Lucifer wants answers. Kane, what is it that you desire? I want to die. Pierce took interest once Chloe was able to make the devil bleed. He hired someone to knock Lucifer out when Chloe was close. The hope was he was good. Uh, he put the detective in danger, though. And that doesn't make Lucifer happy. Uh, surfer chick Wild Child punches Dan out. He mentions that what sh is that what she did to Moondog, and she looks confused. Wild Child and her surfer gang give Mo Moondog a kind of like a quick ceremony in the water. Uh, Dan is also a part of it. He says some nice words about the guy that he's never really known. And Dan thinks that Wild Child's group is uh, being set up. Uh, Chloe's mad that Lucifer cleaned up her desk. Chloe wants to look into the signs. And they go to Justine's place. She confesses to the murder of Manny Moondog Taylor. Justine is arrested. Linda tells Amenadil she doesn't want to sneak around anymore. Amenadil says he doesn't want to hide their relationship anymore. What do you know? What do you know? Amenadil's doctor says it's a false positive. He doesn't have chlamydia. Mays was spying on him during this dinner, and of course it made her very unhappy. Ella Lopez tells Pierce she talks a lot, but it doesn't give him a right to yell at her in the way that she he did. He apologizes to Ella. He says he was in a bad place. Do you need a hug? Sure. Why not? You're going to miss me. And uh, Ella hugs Pierce. Lucifer tells Pierce that his dad screwed them both. Lucifer says if you stay, he'll find a way to kill him. And then Pierce makes a deal with the devil. What else does he have to lose? And Lucifer says, hopefully, your life. And that's what ends the episode. So it honestly took me a long time to watch this episode. Uh, God, I think I had it paused. In total, probably six hours from when I started to when I finished this episode. I don't know. I had some things go on. But yeah, it was tough to get through for some reason. But I'm still scoring it an 8.1 out of 10. And my characters of the episode, for the ladies, I'm going to give it to Ella Lopez, although you could make a case for Chloe, but Ella certainly had some moments in this episode. And then for the guys, I'm going to give it to Detective Douche, Dan uh, Espinoza. He did pretty well, uh, in my opinion. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. Uh, if you're a fan of Lucifer and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please consider Hulk smashing that like button. Even three or four more likes per video go a long way, as YouTube tells me that I don't give an, get enough likes. I mean, if you don't like the video, thumb it down. It's a reaction nonetheless. Uh, share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are. Join me and Crazy Coffee Man. We'll discuss Lucifer. He'll give you a really good episode summary, and I just give you a half-assed video. In my, in my opinion, uh, just sometimes these videos aren't as entertaining to do. Like on some shows, I really like them. On some, I don't. But anyway, and then last but certainly not least, I should let you know that you need to score the episode and let me know who your favorite male and female character of the episode was. And then now, last but certainly. Not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You are watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Hear me talk about loose for more. Join the team. Show your damn support. And be a part of something special. And JDev will return once I find out what it is that you truly desire.